there we go so not too sure if you guys care or what's going on here but i've been really annoyed by this current conversation that seems to be existing around sneakers of the year i know the sneakers of the year thing is definitely a personal choice right it's a personal preference there is no real independent sneaker of the year anymore especially when you consider the different taste levels around the world i feel like in general personally this is just my opinion you can scream and cry about it if you want but i think in general americans have terrible terrible taste in sneakers especially sneaker heads maybe general public people have different tastes in sneakers but i think your conventional sneakerhead or your stereotypical sneakerhead in america has horrible taste in fucking shoes they all like the same shoes they all like the same jordans they all like the same runners they most of them have terrible dress sense like i follow quite a few of the people that you know most of us know on sneaker twitter and the majority of these guys like they can't dress for shit right Jeremy, you know I mean? they, they just got horrible dress sense horrible style just people that you would never listen to when it comes to the idea of wearing cool and nice clothes so i'm not the biggest fan of that community at all but i do like the debates and the passion and the intrigue and just the commitment they have to just you know looking at stuff i fucking love it right i really do flipping love it where they have all this stuff so um they've been having a conversation online about sneakers of the year and for some reason the hidden assets jail nyc's have become the topic of discussion because i guess maybe this is a natural consequence of there being so many terrible sneakers out there at the moment most collaborations are just like a rainbow full of colors you know just a hogus board of fucking different material choices with no real quark, real identity or choice reason behind it oh i fucking hate these farms as well by the way nothing else about it is makes any sense so maybe these shoes these these um, particular ones that everyone's kind of creaming over, right? These um, hidden ones, the Essex Jones and NYCs, maybe people are going so excited over them because it's a natural reaction to the abundance of crap that we have available right now to purchase and it's coming up. Maybe this is what happens. When you have so much shit, if somebody makes a simple, mostly free color runner with some mesh and some nice color blocking, people go crazy because we've not got this kind of level of you know standard quality in a long time. I understand it, but let's also be real. It's an Essex gel light. Let's be real. Let's all give ourselves head a wobble. And this guy, Antoine Brayford, let's all relax. Let's all take a deep breath and let's be real. This shoe is not sneaker of the year. I understand this is a nice trainer for Hidden NYC. Again, Hidden, I have a I have a hate-hate relationship with them. I fucking hate the page. I think the idea of somebody becoming rich and famous and somehow culturally relevant because they just repost pictures of people, of what greats have done in the past on their kind of meme page and they kind of curate a taste level behind just posting pictures of other people, what, have, what, what other people have created without creating anything of any value themselves is akin to these podcasters nowadays, some of these bigger ones who just, their whole brand is about interviewing people who've accomplished a lot in their life and then kind of you know trying to find out what they do day to day and trying to give those tools and those keys to like regular people like just because you interview smart intelligent people doesn't make you smart and intelligent or successful in any kind of way shape or form same goes for hidden and why because they post some of the most iconic pictures of like the old nowhere store where nigo and bape were fucking out and everybody was there you know doing fucking crazy shit over there back in the day and because they fucking what you call it they post you know old school images of like, the supreme store in new york city back in the day that doesn't make them like to know what they're talking about they haven't created or done anything of any value themselves so this whole loving people have with these type of pages i fucking detest it and i think it's fucking awful but but i understand the love for these shoes i get how people are creaming over them i get how people are getting so excited but let's all take a deep breath these shoes are not sneaker of the year they're okay they're decent enough but they're not sneaker of the year and also i think sneaker of the year let's be real if you do want to get into retros if you do want to get if you do want to get into a conversation where a, a collaboration that isn't the most baitest that maybe involves a sneaker that isn't the one that everybody can kind of cream over let's have a conversation around maybe having a category or maybe one of the criteria of sneaker of the year is if you're going to include retros maybe include a retro that hasn't been you know it's not an, it's a newly introduced retro that this collaboration made famous so if as if if this was the first asics that really came onto the scene and kind of blew it up right fair enough but this asics collaboration has come right off the back of asics becoming the new kind of you know the new kind of casual streetwear you know easy to wear shoe of like the last couple of years now it's probably even take overtaken new balance in the part of london that i live in i see a lot more normie girls and normie guys around brick lane all those type of places wearing asics with like their big pants nowadays as, as opposed to like new balances even samba's decided to die down a bit so you can't really give hidden ny 
um, sneaker of the year because number one, they didn't inter- they didn't re- they didn't introduce Asics to the market. I don't know who did what collaboration. Don't fucking hold me on that one because I'm not really good on my Asics history because they're fucking Asics. But um, if they were to get that introduction, it'll be because they introduced them first. But because they haven't, they've kind of jumped onto it right at the end when the hype is all there and it's kind of comfortable. It's kind of a, you, it's an it's an easier silhouette to try and do and to make work because it's been successful anyway. Even though they've done a good job of it, like again, my hate for Hayden and Wiper to one side, it's undeniably a great colorway, right? It's undeniably a great colorway. It's undeniably done really well. You've got good mixtures. I think it's that new buck on the side here. You've got some silver assets going on there as well. I love the logo. Personally for me, the logo on the hill is fucking fantastic. I don't think this is actually how the logo looks. It's usually just a circle with a H, but I love how they've included the Photoshop um, cursor, sort of like box transformation type of thing on the outside. I feel it looks fucking fantastic and overall really nice. I like that they've got the kind of the blue, almost peppermint blue kind of hints on the gel bits on here. I also love like on the ASIC sign, if I'm not mistaken, this is almost how it looks if you have a image on Photoshop and you zoom in a lot, right? You kind of, you're magnifying it super close and you're kind of getting right up to the little small kind of, you know, squares that you can kind of edit and shit. That's what it kind of looks like. So I love how they continue the Photoshop idea behind it and kind of extended it on there. Maybe there's a correlation between, you know, Hidden and Y starting because it, you know, maybe they, they the whole process of posting pictures on Instagram is because they have a fucking instinct. They do it on fucking Photoshop. I don't really know. Either way, I think people need to take a deep breath and stop like gassing it. Like, let's not just reward people because you made a simple colored fucking retro of a shoe that everybody's wearing. Now you're going to give it sick of the year, especially in fucking April. I'm sorry, it's April. Let's all take a deep breath. There's another guy also that said something. Who's this other guy? This other guy called Chef Donny. He also said something as well. Like, oh my God, this is sneaker of the year. It's a sneaker of the year. He's sick of the- it's like, bruh, just relax. I understand it's a plain it's a plain classic sneaker. I understand everybody's getting hyped about it, but let's all take a deep breath. Let's all fucking relax. Let's all be serious for one moment, please. Can we all be fucking serious for one fucking moment and all take a deep breath and just say, yes, I understand it's a great sneaker. I understand that they all did a good job, but let's chill the fuck out. It's not sneaker of the year. Of course it's not. Maybe at the end of the year, you might think that, but now in fucking April, let's fucking chill. Let's be relaxed. Let's really, really be relaxed. Because, so you know, it's just an Essex. With a bit with, with some with some green hints on it. Yes, it looks good. Yes, it looks fresh. Yes, it looks crispy. We get it. Understand. But let's all take a deep breath. These are not sneaker of the year. They're not. They're really not sneaker of the year. Um, he's posting some pictures here next to his fucking you know furniture here in his house with his mirror. Cool, I guess. Yo, people doing photo shoots in their house with their sneakers. I don't know what's. I don't know what's more lame. Because Be, uh, that's the thing. I always, I've always had a love hate relationship with sneakers. Because as much as I love them, I don't love them enough to do full photoshops. So full photo shoots behind them, you know? It's never that deep for me. So I don't know what's more lame. Doing a photo shoot for your shoes, right? Or just owning more than two pairs of shoes in the first place. <laughs> I don't really know what's more, what's lamer. Actually buying loads of sneakers, loads of different colorful ones, or the fact that you're doing a photo shoot in your house because you happen to buy a pair of like nice trainers. I don't really fucking know. Either way, Asics gels um, have been around forever. He didn't done a great job on them. Guaranteed, fair enough. But let's relax with all the fucking sneaker of the year talk. It's absolutely fucking annoying. And if anything, you know what it does? It actually does a disservice to the shoes because you're not giving them a chance to breathe. Um, when there's actually a chance for us to see what sneaker of the year is, we're not going to want to be, we're not going to want to give it to them because of all the fucking unnecessary hype that's been added to it. So you actually don't actually help them by, you know, gassing the thing up, in my personal opinion. You don't help them by gassing the thing up, in my personal opinion. You don't help them by gassing the thing up. But again, what do I know? <laughs>